the last night I arrived in Snowdonia. Got about 6.30 in the evening after a half day of work and a four hour drive to get here. I was pretty ill to be fair when I got here. Had a bit of a migraine going on. A long drive in the heat and the sun. So I had, had quite a light evening. No food because I was feeling so sick. And I stayed at the Glan Abba Hotel in Betty Sequoid uh, last night and there again tonight for one more evening. It is a three star hotel. Might give you a little tour later on so you can kind of see it for yourself what it, that really means in my single room. I've now driven out to a little village on the edge of it called Dolworth Alan. I think it is Dolworth Alan. My walk today is going up towards Carnev Wilshire Bod. Forecast wise, it's, it's going to be bloody brilliant. Uh, sunshine all day. Very unlike your average March weekend. My first day of Snowdonia. I'm looking forward to this one. Slowly sinking out of the stand here, it's pretty boggy again around here. I mean, look at this. Oh shit, same again. This is my one bedroom room in the Grand Abba Hotel. There's the main doorway in, a little bedside table and lamp, a single bed. Got tea making facilities over here. There's a view onto Hollyhead Road. Creaky floors. A uh, little desk and over here. I do my writing and reading. A chair. TV. And you get this wardrobe, it's enough for one person. Stuff in the top and the bottom. And then you get your own bathroom as well. That's where the water comes from. <clears throat> Everything works fine, towels included. I've got no real complaints apart from the creaky floor. Um, yeah, the walls here are paper thin, so I'm keeping it, keeping it down. Uh, yeah, had a meal in the pub just now. Burger and chips, pretty good for the money. Yeah, it's been fine. Behind me is Trafan, which I did like four years ago. This time I'm going up towards Carneth David and Carneth Llewellyn. It's going to be quite a challenging day, I think. I checked out the Glam Abbott Hotel a half an hour ago. Had my second vegan breakfast, vegetarian breakfast, there this morning. Yeah, a good place all around, good value for money. 
kind of wish I had one more night there, but um, I'm going to a bunkhouse this evening. We'll see how that goes. Can't believe my luck sometimes. Just check, checked into Trek's bunkhouse, tongue twister there, and I'm the only one here for the next three nights. What the hell? I've got the entire bunkhouse to myself. He's a nice guy. Um, David, his name is, not Trek. But yeah, give me a little tour of the place. I'll do that for you now as well. But I can't believe it. I was so worried about who I'll be staying with, noises and that sort of thing, but it's just me. A £72 to get three nights to myself in this like whole bunkhouse. Just can't believe it. Anyway, so I'm staying here in room five tonight. It's a single room with two beds because that's how it goes. But I've got my own room here. And as you'll see in a second, there's a locker here with a key that I could use if I want to lock things away from myself, really. There's my bunk bed. I'm probably going on the bottom one, to be honest. I even get a little leather sofa two-seater in my room and the heating but the size of this window I'd get that sheep out there to come in here if I wanted to I'm not going to because they're a bit greedy around here I left the gate open at the front by the car park and um next thing I know is help myself into some of the clean grass in there little bastard anyway this is the sort of communal corridor this is going the wrong way so ladies, bathroom, men's toilets in here, two sinks, two urinals, that one's enough for me. Then you get apparently decent showers in here. I'll be using that one quite soon. Another shower in there. There is free Wi-Fi here. It seems pretty good. This is the lounge area. The clock is obviously very wrong because it's actually more like half past six. Um, decent seats, a little table, utility area. Fucking sheep outside scared the life out of me. What the hell is that? Um, yeah, another little fridge here is not working. But the drying room's in here. You can hang stuff up. There's a fan going. Yeah, if it's wet, you can just hang things up here for drying off, basically. Dehumidifiers take the moisture away. Seating area. Look at that. Pringles. Maybe not for a pound. And on this side, you've got some sweets, I think. Again, it's one pound. Probably won't bother. I haven't got any pound coins on me. And then here's the kitchen. All to myself. Little recycling bins. A microwave, cooker. Cupboards, kettle, toaster, sink for washing up. And the view. 
Let's have a look in a second. Nice big fridge as well. I've no idea what mountain I'm looking at, but look at this. It's just how lucky I am to have this place to myself, but even if I wasn't alone, you know, it wouldn't be a bad place to be. Uh, in terms of location, where am I? I'm in Festiniog, I think. Yeah, so not too far from certain areas, I'd say. It took me 40 minutes to get here from the Carnelli in the Ogwen Valley. Yeah, it's a great place to be. And like I say, it's like £23 a night. It's not a lot of money, really. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. I guess I'll see you tomorrow on the walk. Another beautiful day in Snowdonia. A bit of a drive this morning to get towards Bala Lake and start my walk. Back in the bunkhouse, it's like a really good day, but um, it's like pea soup over here. Very poor visibility, a lot of mist and fog around the lake. The sun is gradually burning its way through. This is one of the two main walks I had planned and wanted to do during my time here. Here's a good sign. That's where I'm going, the Aran Ridge. There's no breeze up here at all. And I'm still wearing thermals for the third day running. Thursday morning. Today is definitely a rest day for me. Um, like I guess there is you now I'm tired. Got a long drive tomorrow. My knee's a bit sore, I don't want to risk anything. Also today it's forecast to have snow on higher ground from like midday onwards and rain for the most of the day elsewhere, like down here. So a good day to have off really. So I came at the right time, just missed out on that. I don't normally have rest days when I go away somewhere. I never use the, day, the word holiday either. I used to do it up until a few years ago. I don't really go to a National Trust place and like wander around for the day, pretend I was interested in the houses and the decor and all that sort of stuff and um, end up buying a sandwich or tea and cake or something in the cafe, which was fine. It, it slowed me down, you know, but membership lapsed two years ago. I haven't used it since, I guess. 
normally been backpacking or trying to cram in all the walks into a week as I could. Today will be much slower. I might have my breakfast now and then go back to bed for a bit, do some reading, some, maybe some writing. I'm planning to go here for lunch to this vegan cafe, the Eating Gorilla, in that place there. It's only a 12 minute drive from here, which should be quite good. But uh, this evening I might try and go to this hotel. It's recommended to me. That's less than a 10 minute drive away. Some handy stuff on here. Zip wheel's not far away. That pub's down the road from here, a five minute walk. It's a community run pub. Go on a hike and bike. Take away a second hand bookshop. A quite useful map here as well. So I am I'm here. This building used to be a clubhouse with a golf course that was here. That's where I am. And the mountains outside that I can see, they must be the Moyle River Mountains. The book I'm currently reading is by John Burns, John D. Burns, The Last Hill Walker, a very good Scottish writer. This one I started reading back in September on the Cleveland Way, I only got so far into it, so um, I'll try and finish it today if I can. Also today, I'm going to try and tidy up my room a bit because I've got clothes all over the place and gear I'm not going to use now until I get home and unpack it. So now it's Wednesday evening, my last evening here at the bunkhouse in North Wales. Yeah, I've just been for a meal at the, the Grape Hotel, not far away. Um, recommended by David, who owns this bunkhouse. Really good food down there. I had the, I had the chicken uh, covered with like cheese and ham. That's really, really nice. Came with some chips and peas and coleslaw that you usually get. Really filling, really good value for money. Um, with some onion rings, I had a tray of nine onion rings for three pound or a bit less than three pound. And uh, a glass of ice cream, again, it was less than three pound. It's like three large scoops of ice cream, really good value for money. So, yeah, earlier today I went to the Eating Gorilla, a vegan cafe um, out towards Port Marion, but not quite that far. I had a really delicious vegan burger there. I'm not vegan myself, but I do like alternatives to beef if I can, if I can find them. That's probably the best vegan burger I've had from a restaurant or cafe. Really, really nice. Nice guy running the cafe as well. Um, I had a chat with him about a few things, walking and stuff, where I'm from. Uh, yeah, I came away as well with some gifts to take home. I'm gonna share this with someone. I got these, if you can see them. I think they're Rocky Road or Coconut Flapjacks. Whatever they are, they look nice. They're about three pounds each, I think, but yeah. I'll enjoy those when I get back. But I am, I'm too full right now to eat them this evening, so I'm gonna put them away. Take them home tomorrow on the long drive. Um, as far as the weather goes, it's actually been quite dry today around here. But a few spots of rain, but nothing serious to worry about. It's gone very cold this evening since like mid afternoon. It's really cold out there. And I've barely seen the mountain summits all day. So over in the west, you can just see the coastline actually, it's quite clear. And the Wales Coast Path runs past there. It's a really nice view, best I've had all day actually. Moywin Mauer and the rest of it is all been a cloud for most of the day. It was more of a mist in the morning, filling up the valley, but um, yeah. I haven't seen any snow yet, but I'm sure it's gonna to come tonight and just cover some of those peaks. But I've got no regrets over having a rest day and taking it easy, staying in the warm. I missed out on one mountain, but it'll be here next time. I can do other things. This is my last night here. Try and savour it.
So we had snow last night. I'm almost ready to go home, get the last few things together, make sure I've left no trace behind, that kind of thing. I'm feeling a bit sad about leaving, but I kind of want to get home as well. Yeah, doing the final walk to check things out, make sure nothing left here, basically. I've already signed the guest book here. Very important step. Yeah, it's pretty cold outside, I won't lie. And the snow flurries come and go still. Uh, it's not very thick on the ground around here where I am. That's a good thing, I think. It could be okay driving home. The roads I can see look pretty clear and they're A roads, so um, there are cars traveling down them, so that's a good sign. I don't think they grit the roads around here, which is interesting because where I live, they do it all the time when it's a little bit cold. But I think they use a different compound in the asphalt, in whatever it is, they lay on the roads in the first place because of the, the climate here and the higher altitude and that sort of thing. But down in Flatland, Somerset, we don't do that. It's going to be a four hour drive back. I've had a really good time here. Um, well, I could stay for like two more hours, but that drive is still lingering. I'm going to try and go down south through the Cambrian Mountains, past the Elam Valley, uh, the Brecon Beacons from Talgarth. Did the same drive three years ago in much better weather. But um, yeah, the aim is to try and minimize the motorway drivers. I'll get and the M4, M49, M5 and get home. And it's quite hard on the car as well, motorway driving, especially now that petrol is so dear. I mean, I spent 90 pounds on this whole trip. It's not bad considering. Um, that's getting here. That'll get me home again, what I bought yesterday. Get me around the different walks, pubs, cafes. Considering I paid £1.60 a litre or thereabouts for unleaded petrol, that's probably not bad going. I'm running out of words, so um, take some more photos, load the car up, and I'll start heading home. Thank you for watching. It's been a really good week. Today's also my birthday, in case you don't know. Um, one of the reasons I stayed this long, I could have gone home last night and just missed all this, but um, I like the idea of waking up in a foreign country. You know, it is Wales, but it's still foreign to me. It's waking up somewhere different on my birthday. I've never done that before. I'm normally at home on my own. It's been really nice to get up here for a few days and just have a bit of a break. Especially yesterday, just having a real rest day. That was really nice. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to sign off again. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.
other way. 